Okay, my name is Dr. Neil Holden. I'm a virologist and expert in respiratory disease and a senior lecturer at the University of Lincoln. Around 80% of people infected by coronavirus may exhibit some very cold-like symptoms, um, typical that you might see with you know, rhinovirus-type infections. Um, a number of other people might be infected by this virus and show no symptoms whatsoever. The problem with coronavirus is it doesn't actually grow in the laboratory particularly well. It's a very difficult virus to actually study in the laboratory. So it's one of the group of viruses we know not so much about. So the most people most at risk from coronavirus are those people really that have other underlying medical conditions. So um, things like um, if you have respiratory, other respiratory diseases such as asthma or COPD, that's chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Um, we also see increased risk in people that have underlying cardiovascular disease, um, such as you know things like hypertension, so high blood pressure, um, diabetics, or people that have a slightly um, compromised immune system. Best way to protect yourself from coronavirus infections is simple hygiene measures. So coughing and sneezing into tissues and throwing those tissues away, the old bin it, kill it um, kind of philosophy, and washing your hands. So this virus is spread through respiratory droplets, um, so coughs, coughs and sneezes. It's also spread via um, people coughing into their hands or sneezing into hands, touching surfaces, and then other people touching those surfaces and then touching themselves on the mouth. 